Hey everybody, it's Jake Nation over here. I'm here with another video for you guys. In this video, I'm actually going to talk to you about how you can set up a canned response for your Gmail account. And it's basically so that way you can have an already an already set up and written email to send off to people to who inquire about your specific services or products or whatever it is you have for your business and also be able to use them to set up autoresponders based on filters. Now I actually have an e uh, another video in my playlist or on my channel rather where it actually gives you more details on how you can set up the filters and set up the autoresponder. So this one is basically how you can just set up the can responses all together. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey everybody, thank you for watching my video. It's Jay the Haitian Mogul. For those of you that already know me, if you because first time you're watching my video, I am a YouTuber, I am a graphic designer, and I am a motivational speaker. Um, if you check, a, check out all my videos on my channel, it has a variety of different things where it comes to affiliate marketing, how to work your business and grow your business, and how to use free products so that way you can see the benefits in your business as well so that you can raise more money and be able to put money into your company and grow from that point. So for this video, I'm actually going to jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and go to my email account right quick. And I'm going to basically show you how you can set this up. So with this one, uh, this is my Haitian Mobile account. And what I'm actually going to do is show you guys how to set up can responses. So what you want to do first is click on this settings logo right here inside which is also going to bring up the settings information. So what you will do is go ahead and click on settings. Make sure you click on it. Now it's going to load. Now once your settings has loaded, what you go to next is advanced. Once you see advanced, you will actually see canned responses right here. Um, you can actually scroll down and see what others you want to actually have activated. Now, we think I have a few. Um, so you can move the chat box to the right side of the inbox. You have a preview panel, multiple inboxes. You can have all this extra stuff, auto advanced. And well, the one we're going to go do today is actually just care responses. So make sure that you have that enabled. If it's disabled, go ahead and click enable. Scroll down to the bottom and click save changes. Right, since mine's already saved, I don't have to do that. So now what we'll do is go ahead and set up our can response. Keep in mind, once you actually do click save changes, it will refresh your inbox. So that way it can show you that it's actually activated in your account. So now the next thing you want to do, you can actually go back to your inbox. Let me move this over and leave it right here. Now once you're in your inbox, you click on here. This is what you'll do actually, this is so that you can create your can response. Now, the reason why can responses are, again are relevant and why they would help you out is because of the simple fact that let me see if we can pull this out. It's because of the simple fact that you'll be able to actually have a written out email already saved on your in your actual list of messages. So that way, if somebody sends you a message trying to get some information, you can just select the can response that goes for that information that they're requesting and just send it off. All right, here we go. We took it. We took it out of there. All right, so this is what we're gonna do, right? So you say, okay, we got that. So now, for the can response, I usually don't put the two because that's always gonna change. So for the subject, I would put a subject. It could be something like, "Welcome to the Haitian Mobile Mailing List," for example. All right. Now you create your subject. Then you come down here. And then you come and you, you type in your message, the, the email that you want to include. So what I will do is something simple, um, just for the, the purpose of this video. Welcome to the H. Could be twice. Let me 
because you requested more information. Feel free to check out my videos and website. Contact me directly using the information below. That's it. So now what I'll do is I'll come over here. Get this out the way. I'll come over here. Let me get all these notifications out the way. Okay, then I'll come over here and hit these three dots. Hover over can responses. And then I'll create a new response. But you'll see insert, it's if you already have it set up, you'll see save and also delete. Now the one I want to do is, is a new can response. So I'll do that and I'll give it a name, which I can leave as a subject name. Welcome to the mailing list. And now it's saved. You can minimize this if you want to do that, just so you can test it out first. Now, keep in mind, for example, like say you want to go ahead, since you know it's already saved, you can create another email. Scroll down here. Go ahead, open this a lot again. Click these three dots. Go to your can responses and hit insert. You see that? And it fills it all in. Now, keep in mind if you have a signature, you want to delete this out of your email, out of your can response. You can always come back here, delete this, all of it, just that part actually. Hit these three dots again, hover over can responses, and save. It's going to ask to overwrite, and you click OK. Okay, and that's it. Now, one last thing, I did cover this in the other video, but um, I'll actually probably leave you a link at the bottom, and that'll be so that you can do the filters, which is basically setting up to where, depending on what you get in your email, say it's going to hit you up and says, and actually puts in the title or subject, mailing list then your can response automatically kick in or well, the filter will pick up the email and your can response will kick in to send them that email immediately and that'll be the email that we just created and of course you can set up to however you want to do it so hopefully this helps you understand how to work can responses and how to make it work for your business like I said this is a great way to follow up with emails or even especially if you have multiple things to do and it helps you save time so if you have any questions for me uh, or any comments about how this works don't hesitate to leave them at the bottom of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the bell. Thank you so much and I'll catch you all next time.